Okay, la- the other point that I wanted to just bring up out of that is to Anand's point. I agree. Like, there are times now when I see old video or maybe I go to a, a place where, where we used to hang out or and, like, the thought of hanging out with that many people without masks feels weird. It feels icky. Mm-hmm. And I want to, like, without hopefully being disgusting here, I know my parents listen, it reminds me of hookup life. Like, if you didn't know about condoms. Yeah. You know, and then you realize one day, like, whoa, the, this whole time I've been having sex without condoms, and whoa. Yeah. You know, it literally feels like every person you have a conversation with, you're having sex with without a condom if you don't have masks, and you're just hoping they don't have any diseases. So, it feels crazy. So it, the point is, do masks stick around with some crowd forever? So Some crowd for sure. I, I'll tell you, for me, I have not gotten sick this year. Knock on wood. Yeah, me neither. Okay? I enjoy not having a cold. I enjoy not coughing, not sneezing, not getting the flu. And my experience, so yesterday I had to go to CVS. I had to go to a Rite Aid and I had to go somewhere else to drop something off. I walked into all these places. I enjoyed everyone. And first of all, no one can see who you are. Yeah. I ran, I saw people I knew. They didn't know who I I've was. I've done that a few times. And that's amazing. I've been in Chipotle with a good, pretty good friend of ours that didn't see me with my <laughs> yeah. glasses and my mask. <laughs> okay. So... That alone, there's a reason to wear a mask. Yeah. Two, it just feels more sanitary to me. Mm-hmm. And given that, like, I do care about my health, I don't care if you choose not to wear it. That's up to you at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. But, like, there's – in Asia, they've they've always had a mask culture. Yeah. And I think this is going to double, triple down on that. Because think about it, you just didn't have the awareness of how exposed you were. Yes. Now you feel so exposed. And and then, like, think about it. Do you really want to go back? Look, obviously, once there's a vaccine and things like that, we'll go back to uh, restaurants. We'll go back to venues, concerts, whatever. But even, like, shaking a stranger's hand now, yeah, just knowing what I know it, about you know? germs and hygiene. Yeah. I'm protected. It's kind of wild to go I'm just done. randomly right. touch people's hands. Can no, I hear Random you. hands? Imagine. Imagine like you would have a group, I don't know, like a meeting or a, like you'd be a Delilah and you hey, this is so-and-so. Shake, shake, shake. How's yeah. everyone doing? Ha, ha, ha. Cough, cough. Ha, ha, ha. I remember meeting Howie Mandel. Yeah. On the set of- He was what, a visionary, man. What was the show he did? The he, deal show. or no deal? No, it was like, it was no, huge. He, he, had, he had a daytime show too. I know, but I'm, I think we met him when I he was the no host was of right? like yeah. the show and he would wear 5'4". Yep. So we go to the set. And his assistant came and goes, just want to let you know um, how he's very hygienic. He doesn't shake hands. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Look at just you now. Get, and he would only do the bop. Yep. You know, like a bump, fist bump. And now I'm like, man. Fist bump feels sketchy. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing elbows. <laughs> I'm fist bumping <laughs> only the closest of friends. Yeah. You got to be related to me. You have <laughs> oh blood to fist bump at this point. It's wild, man. <laughs> but I do think that for the at least like the rest of our lives, I mean, maybe it dwindles. But there is a crowd that will always wear a mask. I have no problem. I think, I, I I definitely think in two years, if I have to fly somewhere wearing a mask through the airport, like that's no question. Yeah. Oh, definitely on the flight. With those... And on, on the flight until I sit down. Maybe once I sit down, I take off my mask. Yeah. When you have that third cocktail. Yeah, then I get a little <laughs> relaxed. It's like a pulling it down. <laughs> yeah. to have your soda. No, but I mean, let's assume... Uh, Arenas are able to have people by the yeah. end of next year. So am I going to a Laker game with a mask on for four quarters? You may, so. you, you may, you may wear it walking in, but you may feel comfortable sitting at. I don't know. It, and it's so yeah. geographic, right? Because we have a friend. We won't name his name. He was in Arizona this past two days. And now he's in Texas for the World Series. Yep. There's no mask policy. He Zero. texted us at the stadium. Wild, wild night. He said, I just did a lap without my mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and not man. just mask. I mean, we're talking, <laughs> it is a free-for-all. In it also days. depends. Like, we can't guess where this thing lands, right? Like, we can't guess when a vaccine comes and what it truly does, who takes it, blah, blah, blah. Yep. You can't guess where the virus. I mean, also, these viruses, from my knowledge, which is very limited, like, tend to sort of taper off anyway. Like, they just get less effective. And yeah. already... Already is, kind of, right? Yeah, so like if by next year, maybe if you do get it, it is truly just the flu. I, I don't know, but it just feels like we've, it has changed the way that we look at our exposure yeah. to germs.